hello hello and welcome back to a new Kerbal Space Program video. Today we will do an update mission to the new Kerbal Space Program update version 1.10 or 1.10. So today we'll have a look at the biggest new feature in KSP as well as a quick look over all the other things that have changed. So we're going to start with the most obvious here that we can see on the screen as well in just a second. So one of the new changes is that the kickback SRBs have a new skin, a ESA skin, so from the Europe European Space Agency where you have all the flags on the booster as well. Further one of the new changes is that on the medium size 2.5 meter, um, meter tanks have new grey textures. Further texture changes are for example for the baguette the dumpling and the donut um, fuel tank now are also available in silver, not only in gold. Um, further, we got two new items. One of them is the junior claw unit, grabbing unit, which we actually have on our today's mission. Well, on our payload that is being launched right now, and I will show that a bit later in the video. And on top of that, the new item, uh, well, yeah, part actually, in the game is a new science equipment, which is a long extending boom, which will measure the gravitational and magnetic fields. Though, on that also a bit later more in the video, since we've brought that with us on today's payload. So, speaking of today's payload, today's mission, the biggest feature, biggest new object in the well, celestial object actually in the Kerbal system on the entire game is that we can now go and visit comets. So today's update mission is going to a comet and checking out all the new features over there and inspecting a comet. So that's also one of the features of today's video is we're going to have a look at how to actually rendezvous and get to a comet. So if you're interested in performing a mission like that yourself, you should definitely stick around since I'm going to talk about the um, maneuver planning and how to get to a comet a bit later on. So, the other interesting part or the other two parts that have changed, well, that have been added to the game are a probe core and a probe core service module, as I'd like to call it, even though the probe core service module has actually a probe core in it um, on itself. However, it is more used to just as a service unit and we are using this so-called service unit um, in today's mission as well. However, it won't be actually used since we have more than plenty, more than enough fuel for today's mission. But just as a quick overlook, um, overlooking information is that the probe core itself has an antenna built in, some liquid, ox uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer, but really just a tiny 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 amount so you shouldn't really um, count on it too much even less than the landing module of the making history DLC but this is one of the parts that kind of has a similar usage. The service mo module however has a pretty substantial amount of xenon gas so this is mainly uh, intended to be used with xenon engine aka ion engines in kind of together so that's what we actually have here on top, right below the Ecto, no, HEC 2 probe core, which is in gold. So yeah, so generally speaking, the biggest changes in this update are a lot of cosmetic changes, like the flags, and we can actually add no flag pieces onto your own um, craft, and the stuff, different skins for different fuel tanks, and I saw B rock pieces. So now on the screen, you after this pretty standard launch, you saw that we just uh, selected a comet as our target. So you have to go first to the tracking building, tracking station, and select one of the question mark objects, which are very, very, very far away from the center of the Kerbal system. So just generally, the further away, the more likely it is to be a comet. Uh, I only had one at the, when you updated the game. Well, at least I had only one possible comet, and it was a comet. So I checked this out. It was. It has a really well weird. It's not quite the right word, but rather pain, painful trajectory. So it's very inclined 
highly eccentric orbit. But like I said, in terms of rendezvous, just in a second more. And pretty standard, well standard, I'm just trying to leave in the beginning the sphere of influence of Kerbin and as soon as we're getting a moon encounter right from the get-go, I just thought, well, whatever, let's use this small moon gravity assist, even though it's not really necessary, but more for the giggles, since it is always beautiful to have a nice flyby of the moon, so that's what we're going to do right now. Make it quickly going over my um, notes here. If If I've talked about everything I really wanted to talk about in terms of new content, and well pretty much the new things that I've said that I haven't really touched up on too much well I have touched up on everything and haven't gone into great detail are going to be mentioned a bit later on once we get to our target now onto the to onto the maneuvers that we've done first we slowed down to get our periapsis pretty close to the periapsis of the comet itself then we know we've performed Think a maneuver node, or oh, we're going to perform it right now here. A pretty big and substantial burn with three stages. Since I've done the nuclear engine in asparagus staging with six times two well, three times two fuel tanks that are feeding into each other, so for maximum efficiency, so that's why we have a lot of delta V. And here we're ditching all those pairs of fuel boosters of well, fuel tanks after each other. Now, like I said, the idea of this maneuver node is now to increase our apoapsis to approximately the same altitude as the apoapsis of the comet. Now you can see here, I'm performing a mid-course correction. You'll see this from a in a few seconds from a different angle a bit better. A course correction to get our apoapsis more or less lined up with the intersection, where the plane intersection of both orbits. This is where we um, will have two following maneuver nodes. One of them will be changing our plane to match the plane of the comet, and the second maneuver node right after that will be matching our orbital speeds, aka raising our apoapsis back up, well, periapsis in that case, back up to match the orbit of the comet. And after we've done these things, the entire process is actually pretty pretty simple since after we've done all those three burns which we'll, I'm going to skip over since that are about 10 years of time warping and even at maximum time warp time trust me this took ages the original video footage is over two and a half hours long just a pain okay it, it's just a pain but it is definitely worth it since they the comets really do look nice but anyways we're going to have to a look at the comets just in a, a couple of seconds so like i said after we completed these two maneuver nights so you will have to fiddle around with them a tiny bit and use on your own then everything else is a standard docking procedure you're just going to kill your relative velocity to the target burn towards the target wait until you get kind of close closer 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 and once you start getting away from the target you do the same thing again and as you can see right now on the screen just select the retrograde marker with the target selected burn all um, kill all your relative velocity and burn back towards the target so this is like regular docking procedures if you've had if you are having any issues with docking go and check out one of the Kerbal Space Program 101 videos that are that should be listed in the guide playlist on my channel or just search how to rendezvous and yeah so everything else is pretty much self-explanatory once you're actually in visual range it, it is rather simple just use the claw unit that you now can see in the very front right between those four giant solar panels on yeah at the very <laughs> top of the payload stack just have the small grabber unit we could of course bring could have brought the regular grabber unit but like I said the junior claw grabber is the new item or one of the new parts in the game so obviously we're going to use the new parts as much as we can like in theory instead of the heck uh, heck 2 probe core I could have brought the new like moho exploration something um, module I think it's called to build the complete probe but well 
this one was just m fitting more into the design of the general class, so that's why I went with that. However, if you're now looking on the opposite side of the yellow communitron, you can see this extending boom. This is the new science experiment. Now, after a few failed grabbing attempts, here I'm just going to cut forward to the next attempt, well, to one of the attempts, to actually the attempt that worked out. Now we are connected and, well, I wouldn't say docked because we just grabbed the asteroid. But anyways, we are now kind of connected to the asteroid and now I went and checked if the, because I brought all the science equipment with me, were giving, will give us some new scientific results and some texts and this might have been, might be actually interesting to have a read, but you will not get any science out of a comet, which is kind of a shame in my opinion, since I think you should, and they, this is a very good, actually, very good um, angle on the new science experiment, aka the boom experiment on the top here. So like you can see right now, I'm checking all the experiments, whether they give us some new science and nice texts, but it, it is just the high above the sun biome, which is actually a shame. I would really appreciate getting some science out of this because um, getting out to a comet is not the easiest task and it should be rewarded with some science. But anyways, now after having a look at the comet here at pretty far away, well high above the sun, fast forwarding a couple of years and we are now close to the sun and here we can see the real beauty of comets the real reason why people should go and visit the comet. Beautiful particle effects now for, for using the time warp. It is a bit a bit fast, but you can see the trail here as well. Um, only for this side it is worth completing a mission like that. So, on this note, I hope you have enjoyed this small and really quick overview over the comets, over all the new features, even though there are not that many, sadly. Um, thank you guys very, very much for watching. And until next time, Space Sheep, signing out.